Another thing that we can add to a selector is attributes. So this idea, remember, attributes are in the HTML tag. So right here, here's an example on a heading one. It has an attribute ID equals title. Now IDs are used as to uniquely identify an element. So the idea is that you only have one element on any web page with that ID. So you can have a lot of different ID values, but they'll all be unique. So find the heading one that has ID title and set the style on that. And the way that you do that is you use the pound sign. So here, down here, you see how that is. It's H1 pound sign title. That says an H1 with an ID of title. Or you can just do it with pound title, and that means it would be any attribute that has ID set to title. So it doesn't specify which element. Since there's only gonna be one ID on the whole page with title, either of these will actually select the same thing. Another attribute that is commonly used is the class attribute, and we can select based on that. So here in the HTML, we have an H1 that has class equal to intro and a paragraph with class equal to intro. Now classes are designed to be used multiple times throughout a web page. And so when you do that, uh, here you do a dot. So, so to use the class selector, you use a dot. So now you want an H1 dot intro. That means an H1 with the class set to intro. So that's going to be this very first one, right? It's H1. It's the class set to int intro. So that's only going to be the H1 element. If we just do dot intro, that's going to be all elements with class equal to intro. So that'll pick up both the H1 and the paragraph. If we did p dot intro, then it would only pick up the paragraph with class sent to intro. So you can be very specific about which ones you want to access. You can also use a variety of other ones. And those two are the ones that have ID and attribute that just have a character, the pound sign or the dot to access them. The rest, you actually have to specify what attribute you're talking about. So here we have this, the um, selector is A, so it's talking about an A tag, and then inside the square brackets, you put the attribute. So this is saying an any A tag that has an href attribute, then apply the styles to it. And so that's how you can do it. You can put whatever attribute you want in here, and out here you can put whatever type of element that you want to put. And you can get even more specific by putting the attribute and the value. So here we have an A tag with an href element. But now we can say we only want the A tag when href is equal to index.html. So now we're being really specific about which one we want. It has to be an A tag, needs to have an attribute href, and that attribute needs to be equal to index.html. So lots of ways to specify that. So if we go back to our web page, we're going to change, notice that we have all the H1s set with style and all the H2s set with another style. Well, we're going to change that. We're gonna make them more specific. So if we go back here, so instead of doing all the H1s, we want to just do the ones that are in article with ID set to about TSS. So if we go here and we look at the article in our TSS underscore homepage, it has an ID equal to about TSS. So that's what the ID value is. So we want it to be that. So what we're going to do over here is we're going to change this to, we're going to add in here an article, that's an element, and then we do the pound sign and we say ID, the pound sign stands for uh, ID about underscore TSS. And then we have heading one. So what we're doing is we're setting the style on the heading one, but only on the heading ones that are inside the article with ID set to about TSS. We're gonna do the same thing with heading two, only if it's in an article with ID set to about about TSS. So this one will set the heading too. I'm going to save it here. And we'll go back to the web page and see how that changes. When we refresh it, here we go. So now notice only applies to the heading one that's inside the article with ID set 
to that value. And both of the heading twos are inside that article with the ID set to value. So we were able to be more specific about which one we picked up.